And now an Air Vice Marshal was back in the pilot's seat for a celebration fly past. Jim Sullivan reports. For 21 years, the French-designed supersonic Mirage has been Australia's frontline fighter. And very few fighter pilots can boast as long a record. But there is at least one. In 1963, squadron leader Bill Collings flew the first Australian-built Mirage, number A33. Today, as Air Vice Marshal Collings, he was back in the cockpit of Mirage A33. This was the first view Australia got of the same aircraft when it was handed over to the then Prime Minister Sir Robert Menzies and Defence Minister Alan Fairhall. In all, the RAAF was to get 116 mirages. 77 of them are still flying. Nine of those taking to the air today for a celebration fly past. By any standard, the Mirage is still a very high performance aircraft. With a top speed of more than twice the speed of sound, it's actually faster than the F-18 which will replace it. The F-18 can of course outturn and outshoot the Mirage. With several Mirage squadrons based at Williamtown, the aircraft has been a consistent newsmaker over the years, especially when things went wrong. But there were other occasions, like the time the RAAF proved that a Mirage was faster than a Lamborghini over a standing 400 metres. The Mirage has a reputation as a pilot's aircraft. Anyone lucky enough to fly or even ride in one relishes the experience. Back on the ground today, Air Vice Marshal Collings made it clear that he enjoyed his latest Mirage flight every bit as much as his first 21 years ago, when the champagne flowed just as it did today. Good health. 833.